Hi everyone, let me show you how to add holes on a sphere. You can apply this for any objects. So in this case, let me show you a nice example. Here we have porous silica. So there are different kinds of nanomaterials on which you might have pores and you can show them through this technique that we are going to learn. And let's get started. So in Blender, I'll add a, an icosphere, which is very important. Don't start with a UV sphere, shift A, mesh, icosphere, shift A, mesh, UV sphere. I'll move the UV sphere here because the topology of the UV sphere is a little different. For an icosphere, we have uniform geometry, which is needed for our purpose. So I'll delete this. Okay. So when you add an icosphere, you need to make sure that there is enough subdivisions. Let me show you that. I'll delete this shift a mesh icosphere when you add a new object you will find a small menu here click on that it will show you levels of subdivisions right this is a uv sphere when you add an icosphere you can see similarly increase num levels of subdivisions so that we can you know add holes comfortably so i'll keep it at four if you want more holes to be shown, we need to have more subdivisions. That's how it goes. So go to edit mode, press tab. Now we are in vertex select mode. Make sure that entire sphere is selected like this. If not, press A so that everything will be selected. Press Ctrl B on keyboard, then V and move the mouse. So you can see we are able to create a circular region here as soon as we do that you'll get a menu like this and here you can adjust the shape I'll zoom in and see how the shape changes when I increase the shape value here see and I decrease it becomes hexagon and then it becomes star so we need to choose a soft spot where we get a circular shape like this and you can increase segments if you want but I would prefer not to do that and keep it at 2 now we are good to go now select only one circular region click outside and make sure that you have selected the select box then select one region like this now we need to select all other regions which are similar to this so it is easy go to select select similar face regions so all other shapes will be selected now you can delete them press x on keyboard and choose faces don't choose vertices if you do so the entire sphere will be deleted choose faces now you can see we have created holes go back to object mode press tab that's how you do it if i do that for a sphere with smaller levels of subdivision shift a mesh icosphere move it here so i'll move this here shift a mesh icosphere i'll decrease the subdivision to three go to edit mode press tab press ctrl b then v on keyboard and move the mouse and do that while you move the mouse make sure that you are increasing its size as per your requirement right you might be having bigger holes or smaller holes so yeah so now you can control number of holes by increasing or decreasing subdivision of the entire sphere and while adding that bevel while moving the mouse you can adjust its size so both you can control now this is good select outside and select one Face like this select select similar face regions go to face select mode right click delete faces yeah that's how you can add holes and if this is your porous silica what you can do you can add some thickness to this by going to modifiers and add soldify modifier and increase the thickness so that you know it becomes a shell Go to wireframe mode so that you can see i'll add a uv sphere decrease the size which is inside i will add a new material like that go to material preview mode to see colors right click shade smooth so that it becomes smooth move it inside like that and and you 
can add a different color for the shell. Similarly, you can show the cross section using Boolean modifier. Shift A mesh cube. This is a cube. Look at the tutorial which is explaining how to use Boolean modifier if you don't understand this clearly. So I'll simply add Boolean modifier on top of this. Before that, I will apply the solidify modifier. Go to generate Boolean difference. Use this cube. Click apply. And now select the sphere inside which is blue like this. Now it is selected. Again add modifier. Generate Boolean difference. Select the cube. Click apply. Delete the cube. Now look at that. This is how you do it. All right. I hope you learned how to add holes on a sphere and see you in the next tutorial.